In this HVAC training video, I'm going over how to make a sheet metal end cap and how to connect it into a duct using these basic hand tools. And this is including the new advanced folding tool with a large jaw. And we are not gonna be even using any S-lock in order to make our connections. If you have a cut section of rectangular duct, why would you end up cutting this clinch out and cutting an inch in here, 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 and here, and folding these ears out like on this piece of duct right here in order to then end up having to still need S-lock. So with this duct, we're just gonna make an end cap instead. And you have to make an end cap anyway, so we'll make one that we can actually just uh, attach right on here without any S-lock. So just like we did with the uh, plenum end cap. So this is 13 and three quarters heavy. And we're also gonna take a measurement from this little clinch on the inside here, 13 and three quarters heavy. And this right here is eight and an eighth heavy, eight and an eighth heavy. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go add two inches to it, so we'll go just a little bit smaller, so we'll go about like 10 inches heavy. And that's, a heavy is just 1 16th of an inch. And then in reference to over here, you see 13 and 3 quarters heavy, we're just gonna add two inches, go a little bit lighter, so we're gonna go 15 and 3 quarters. So that'll add one inch on all sides so that we can make our bends. So here you see we have 15 and 3 quarters. In this direction, we've got 10 inch heavy, and this is gonna be one inch cut out of the, the edge here. So we need to do that for all four sides. So I have this scribed on the sheet metal so I can see it. Now we certainly could have used our pocket brake if we left the cardboard underneath of it. But in this case, I'm just gonna use a piece of plywood with a nice crisp edge on it. And I'm gonna put the weight of my body on it and then I'm just gonna fold it up. And that's how we're gonna make our cross brakes. Knee pads are nice, you know, we would typically be using knee pads when we're doing this a lot. We're gonna bend all these in with our 3 8 inch side right here. We could also just do this with our half inch. Now we're gonna use our advanced folding tool here. So we just flip it upside down in order to use it. You see it fits right in there. We should be ready to go. The only other thing that we would do is open up these seams on the corners to make it real easy for when we're mounting this onto the duct. It's already pretty open and we clinch it down with the, the handbrakes after we connect it onto the duct and after we snap lock punch it. So then we can add our end cap here. We use our snap lock punch to lock in the first corner, then the second corner, move on to the third corner after that, we then end up moving on to the fourth where we're gonna have to do a little bit of finagling in order to get that end cap to sit in there. And so we're gonna use two snap lock punches on the short side and three snap lock punches on the long side. Then we take our hand seamers to seal in that ductwork where what we're doing is tightening that hem so we don't have any air loss. And after we do that, we have to address those corners, which then we would add some duct mastic to those corners as well. I hope this video helped, and if you're looking for our invention, the Advanced Folding Tool, we have links to this down in the description section below. And if you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure to read both of our books, which are available over at Amazon, AC Service Tech, and at TrueTechTools.com. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.